holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? What is that private pile? Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Oh my god! Oh hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brainy Boy back at it again. This time with a Fallout 4 video. So if you know me, you know I love Fallout 4. It's my most played game on Steam, which is quite sad actually. But the only reason why I'm playing this game so much is just because all the mods are just so fantastic. One of my favorite categories to get into are the weapon mods, the firearms, the guns. Because as we all know, the base guns for Fallout 4 are all just kind of ugly. And the animations are bad and I just don't like them. They're just really bad, especially this goofy ass looking water gun that they call an assault rifle. What really bothers me about this gun here is that it's not even really an assault rifle. It looks a lot more like a World War I water-cooled LMG. So what exactly is an assault rifle though? It's any gun that uses an intermediate rifle cartridge, is select fire, and uses a detachable magazine. And from what I can tell, the vanilla assault rifle in Fallout 4 definitely fits the bill. So it technically is an assault rifle, but it just doesn't look the part and it's really ugly and it looks like a toy. So instead, there's five alternatives that you can find on the Nexus. For the number five spot, we have the AS Val. If you play games like Escape from Tarkov or Modern Warfare 2019, you may recognize it. So this gun comes from a mod called the 9x39 add-on and replacer created by the shiny Haxorus. If you're wondering why it says replacer in the title, that is because it is a separate version different from the original mod which was created by FX0X01. But the newer version has better animations and sounds, which are quite crisp. Additionally, this weapon mod also comes with a decent amount of attachments. You can extend your magazine from 20 to 30, and there's plenty of sights to choose from, as well as there's a flashlight, two lasers, two foregrips, but there's no choice for a barrel or a stock. So for a little bit about this weapon's real-life counterpart, it was created in 1987 by the Soviet Union, and it was designed around the new 9x39 subsonic ammunition. This mod here, of course, adds that ammo into the game seamlessly through the leveled list. It also adds in its sister weapon, the VSS Ventores, which is basically the same gun, but semi-auto, so it is used for situations which require extreme precision. Obviously, these weapons have integral suppressors to take advantage of that special subsonic ammunition, so that's probably why there's no option to remove the suppressor or change the barrel in-game. But anyway, that makes the gun useful for stealthy situations, and its extremely high fire rate makes this gun a true menace in close quarters. The animations are great, the sounds are superb, the textures and models are of high quality, and there's a good amount of attachments to customize the weapon as well. Overall, this gun looks and feels fantastic to use in-game. Its unique design makes it stand out in a crowd, and that's just why I had to put it in my top 5. For the number 4 spot, we have the AKM, which is added in by the mod called AKM Complex by Nova Finch. Not only does this mod add in the classic AKM, it also has a unique variant called Exodus. It has the AK-74, the AKS-74U, the RPK LMG, as well as an AK-9 SMG. Easily the best part about this mod has got to be the attachments. After all, this mod is called the AKM Complex, so that means there's plenty of parts from all different types of AKs that you can mix and match together. In the receiver section, we have an option to take off the dust cover and expose the recoil spring, which does look pretty cool. And of course, there's a whole bunch of different barrels you can choose from. You can go from short, long, medium, extra long. In the group section, we've got four different options here. We got the rudimentary, we got the classic, and we got two more that look a little bit more modernized. When it comes to the magazines, we have a bunch of different options and conversion kits so we can actually change how the gun completely functions. You can use the classic 762, the 545, or even use 556 if you're a dirty capitalist. There's even an option for 458 SOCOM, which I've never even seen an AK have, but that would be kind of cool. And we can even take this bad boy out of the assault rifle class and turn it into an SMG with a 9mm or the 7.62 Tokarev. Of course, I would recommend using the mod New Calibers and its patch for this gun so that the ammo types are properly used and they're properly distributed throughout the Commonwealth. Other than that, there's still plenty more attachments to go. We got plenty of different suppressors and muzzle brakes, the option for a flashlight or a laser, and a wide variety of stocks as well. And overall, the animations and the sounds are pretty dang good.
The only complaint I have about the animations is that they're reused from the Krebs AK, and as a result, that makes your hands sort of just phase to the scope if you have one. But other than that, they are pretty good. So of course, you know, I just had to have the AK on this list. And while there are a bunch of different AK mods, I think this is definitely probably the best one, or at least the best one on the Nexus, that is. So of course, a little bit about the AK. So the first variant, the AK-47, was created, of course, in 1947, right after World War II, and it was later succeeded by the AKM. And as of right now, it is the most widespread and popular assault rifle in the entire world. Like I said earlier, the best part about this mod is the variety of attachments. You can make this thing look like a spick and span modern AK-12, or like an old piece of junk you'd find off a dead child soldier in Africa. Either way, it looks pretty dang sweet, and I really appreciate the variety of combinations. I gotta say, the mod author did a pretty dang good job representing the versatility of the AK platform. And every aspect of this gun mod is all in high quality. So that's why it's on this list at the number 4 spot. And for the number 3 spot, we have the FAMAS. This one's titled as the Giot FAMAS, and it's by the terrific modder that I mentioned earlier, FX0X01. This mod essentially adds in two separate variants of the FAMAS, as well as a version that uses the grenade launcher. Just like I said, there are two variants here, the Standard and the Felin, or as I like to differentiate them, the Modern Warfare versus the Black Ops version. While there aren't any stocks to choose from, there are little bags and pouches, or even a cute little GPS you can add onto your rifle. And for the magazines, we've got several to choose from, all the way from 30 to 40 or even 60 rounds. There's also two suppressors, two different decorational bipods, and if you're good enough, you can unlock Damascus, which is actually a separate mod. There are plenty of sights to choose from as well, but if you want to use them, you'll have to attach a rail to the standard version or just use the feeling variant. And my favorite part about the mod are the animations. And of course the sounds are great as well. So the FAMAS is a French bullpup assault rifle which went into service in 1978 and has become popular because of its unique silhouette. It uses the 5.56 cartridge and has a rather fast fire rate making it another deadly tool in close quarters. Of course, many people are also familiar with it as a burst fire weapon, but this mod does not integrate that, and why would it? Burst fire is cringe. Anyway, I'm glad this mod introduces the feeling variant because in my opinion, I find it much more appealing. The models, the textures, the sounds, the animations, you name it. Everything about this gun is just phenomenal and it's super duper fun to shoot with. The only complaint I have is that the grenade launcher is its own weapon and it cannot be easily switched between grenades or regular ammo, but I blame that on Bethesda's part. Overall, this weapon is extremely aesthetic, and it is quite the sight to see with that Damascus camo added on. And just like I said earlier, the animations on this one are just absolutely fantastic, so I had no choice. This one definitely deserves to be in the top 5. And next up for the runner-up spot at 2nd place, we have the Mark 18! And yet again, this one is made by FX0X01, he's one of the best modders out there. So when it comes to attachments, we've got a pretty good amount to choose from. As you can see, we've got basically two different looking receivers, a whole bunch of different barrels all the way from super short to very long. So you can make this gun look like a tactical SBR or have it look like your tryhard warzone setup. There's also a whole bunch of different stocks you can choose from, which are all very unique in their own design. Additionally, we've also got quite a few grips to choose from. Not only that, but we can also put on the super sexy Raptor charging handle. Not only that, but we can also change the caliber from 5.56 to 300 blackout to 4.58 SOCOM, but in my game here I've patched it to use 50 Beowulf because I can. And of course, there's quite a good selection of sights as well. We've also got quite a few different muzzle brakes and suppressors to add on to that. And if you really want, we can choose between flashlight or a laser, and you can put it on the left, right, or upper rail. But on the lower rail, we can choose between a variety of different foregrips. And there's also an option to make it two-tone. Just like the gun before, the animations on this rifle are absolutely amazing. And, I forgot to mention, there's a pretty cool variant called the Punisher. So 
So this rifle is more colloquially known as the M4, but the Mark 18 is a specific version which has attachments suited for close quarters. But like I showed y'all earlier, you can still put on a long barrel for long range engagements. So this rifle is a part of the AR-15 family, which was originally created in 1964. The first military variant was known as the M16, which later evolved into the M4, and now we have the more recent Mark 18. This rifle uses the 5.56 cartridge, and its modularity and moderately high fire rate makes it a useful weapon in any situation. So in case you didn't notice yet, these animations are absolutely orgasmic. And they are based off of the modern warfare animations, but in my opinion, they look even better. I find it baffling how a small team of modders can create better weapons than that of one of the best selling games of all time. But anyway, this mod is surely freaking awesome, and it's one of my favorite guns to use currently. I would have definitely put it at the number one spot, but the next one just takes the cake. So the number one spot in my favorite gun currently is the FAL. This mod was created by Juan Amingo and what he calls the Bone Zone Friends, which are all very talented and popular modders. So this mod introduces the FAL in a whole bunch of different variants, such as the Mukambuda, as you see here. But we've also got other variants, such as the DSA-58, the Israeli FAL, this uh, kind of goofy looking unicorn one, or even the Operator from Fallout 3. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of different variants here, and there's even more attachments. So for the receivers, we basically got two different versions, the old FAL and the new DSA-58. Depending on which receiver you choose, the reload animation will change. There's also quite a large variety of handguards, magazines ranging from banana to 30 rounds, and there's quite a lot of sights to choose from if you're using the newer receiver. There's also a plethora of muzzle attachments, whether that be suppressors or muzzle brakes and three main types of pistol grips. You can also change it up between a short or a long barrel, add on a decorative bipod if you want, or maybe even add on a cool looking carry handle. In addition, there's also many different camos and materials, which you can find on the unique variants. You can also change up the stocks and even use a folding stock, which does have a unique animation. And if you're using a handguard with a rail on it, you can add on a flashlight, a laser, or a foregrip. And when it comes to animations, no surprise here, these are superb. And of course, that reload is extremely crisp. So pretty much everything about this weapon is absolutely amazing. The animations, the sounds, the textures, the models, the customization, the unique variants, just everything you can think of, it's got it. This mod is absolutely fantastic and I absolutely love all the modders that made it. Another thing that's included in this mod is a location called the Bone Zone, in which the Bone Zone friends are all located. And you can go and slaughter them all with your new FAL. And this is where you can also get some of the unique variants. So anyway, a little bit more about the FAL itself. It is a Belgian-made weapon, originally designed in 1953, and it uses the 7.62x51 NATO cartridge, which makes it a hard hitter and useful for medium to long range. Throughout the Cold War era, it saw extensive use by dozens of countries from Europe to the Middle East and even to Africa. Because of its use by NATO countries to fight against communism, it gained the title Right Arm of the Free World, and it is easily one of the most recognizable rifles on the planet. Sadly, it was never adopted by the US, and neither is it represented that well in video games. Modern Warfare especially has absolutely shafted this weapon and locked it as an exclusive semi-auto for some reason, so I'm glad to see this mod team made the FAL in its fully automatic glory. My favorite version is the DSA-58. With all its modernized attachments, it looks quite aesthetic and tactical. And it's probably the most satisfying gun to shoot when it comes to Fallout 4 mods. Overall, this is currently my favorite assault rifle for Fallout 4, and this mod certainly does the FAL some much needed justice when it comes to video games. Anyway, that's my top 5 assault rifle mods for Fallout. If you guys liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If the video does good, I just may have to make some more of these mod videos. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, see you later.